There you go, one more, one more, you're good. <laughs> you know what? You've hit a couple balls long, and it's a really simple fix, and I'll show you exactly how to fix that in one second if you want. So, Megan, the reason why you're hitting the ball long is because your racket face is open. There's really two reasons or two things we want to focus on. It's your swing path and your racket face at contact. You're doing a great job with your swing path, so we're going to really focus on your racket face. And so, the thing you want to understand about racket face is when your racket face is open, it's going to take the ball long. And the reason for that is when you swing, obviously, having the strings looking that direction is going to take the ball that way. If your racket face is closed, well, guess what it's going to do? It's going to take the ball down to the ground. What we want to do is find the middle ground. So what we're going to do is a drill really quick to kind of go over those extremes so you understand what to do. So I'm going to feed you a couple balls, and then you're going to be really, really open with the racket face and really get a feel for how that feels. And then we're going to go really, really close and then go in between. Okay. How's that sound? Yeah. Ready? So you can see how the ball's going really, really high because mm -hmm. your racket face is open. Now I want you to extremely close the racket face. Okay, Megan. So now let's take a look at the two extremes. This first one is where your racket face, as you can see, is closed at contact. And so you can really see that. Let's draw a line here from racket face. You can see at contact how the racket face is really, really closed, hence the ball going in to the ground. And this one is the extreme where the racket face is open. And you can see this here. See it here with this line where you can see how the racket face is pretty open there. And so, again, you can see how these two extremes are very, very different, and it's what's causing the ball to either sail long or go in the net. Now we're gonna go back and do a drill so you know what's in between and what to do, okay? How's okay. that sound? Okay. Okay, let's get rocking. Okay, Megan, now we're gonna work on a drill just to find that in-between spot. And what I want you to focus on is the racket face. Keep the swing path the exact same. If you do that, you're gonna see a huge jump in how consistent you can be where the ball doesn't go really high or really low. Okay. You ready? Good. Good. So you can see how having your racket face in the middle really settles yeah. down that the ball where it's not going too high. Let's take a look at the video so you can see exactly what's going on. Okay. Now, Megan, let's take a look at the difference of what you did before okay. and now what you were doing. When we look at before, your racket face was really open mm -hmm. and the ball went really high. Now, looking at your racket face, if we draw a line here. You can see how your racket face is vertical, making your ground stroke more consistent. It's not flying up or going down on the court. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. yeah. So this is exactly what you want to do. You did a great job of keeping the swing path the same, but just adjusting that racket face really makes a huge difference in where the ball is going to go.